In this video, I'm going over 15 men's clothing brands that you can buy in pre-owned condition and the sell-through on the brand is strong enough that you can buy just based on brand alone. First brand is called Bad Birdie. It's a golf wear brand that has 950% sell-through on eBay. It is the highest selling brand I have ever encountered, although I've never personally found it. They make these really loud golf polos with bright patterns, big patterns. And if you can find those polo shirts, they commonly sell for 50 bucks used. When I'm talking about sell through percentage, what I mean is I am dividing the sold comps by the number of actives, multiplying by 100 to arrive at a percentage of items that have sold over 90 days. Bad Birdie makes pants, they make hats. I think they might make outerwear, but those polo shirts are gonna be what you're gonna find if you find Bad Birdie. If you find anything Bad Birdie, it is an unconditional buy. The next brand is Ibex. I have found this one and sold it a couple times. It's a great find if you can get it. It's very close to a Smart Wool or an Arcturix. It's an outdoors brand that does a lot of merino wool pieces and they're in very, very, very high demand, both in men's and women's. It has a 353% sell through pre-owned on eBay. So you basically cannot miss with Ibex. If you can find wool outerwear pieces from them, those go for the most money. If you can find vests or jackets or sweaters, they make a performance-based merino wool that's really high quality to the touch. And anything that you can find from them, even basic stuff, even t-shirts will sell for decent money. This is another brand that I would consider selling even if it had holes in it, even if it had relatively minor flaws. The demand is so high and by the nature of the kinds of garments that they make, people will still buy them if there are small enough holes. If there are big gashes in it or big nasty stains, then maybe avoid. But if it's just small pinholes, as long as you disclose it in the ad, People are buying this a lot of the time just for hiking, for uh, purpose, not for aesthetic. So you can, um, you can sell items with flaws. There is a brand that's new to me called Ryan Michael. They're a very small brand and all they make is Western shirts. Their Western shirts are in insane demand. It is 358% sell through for the entire brand in pre-owned condition on eBay. The shirts that are made with nicer materials like leather or suede or corduroy can be worth exceptionally large amounts of money for a basic shirt, upwards of 100 bucks. If you um, find, find any shirts that have a Southwestern or Aztec aesthetic to them, that's the kind of beach blanket type pattern with all the zigzags and the diamonds. Those can be worth a lot. Anything Ryan Michael will sell. This next brand is Teddy Fresh, which was started by Gila Klein of the H3H3 podcast. It's a streetwear brand that does collaborations with other streetwear brands. The thing that you're looking for the most is their hoodies. Their hoodies have crazy sell through and they sell for a lot of money. And there are these pastel colored color blocked hoodies and the, um, the emblem looks kind of like the polo bear. It's a teddy bear. I found a jean jacket from Teddy Fresh once when I lived in LA and it sold within an hour of listing it for $150. The sell through is 352% in used condition on eBay. It's a small brand. It's even smaller than many other streetwear brands, niche streetwear brands, but the sell through is uh, just astonishingly high. This is the kind of thing that would be good to look for in terms of online sourcing. So looking at Poshmark or maybe eBay, if someone has one up for auction, or if you can just get really lucky, maybe you live in LA, maybe you live in New York somewhere where you could feasibly encounter it in the wild. If you do, just pick it up and you'll be able to sell it. This next brand is much more common. It's Ariat, which is mostly known for their boots and shoes. 
but they do make clothing and the menswear has really great sell through. It is at 228% sell through right now. As with most brands, if you can find outerwear from Ariat, like jackets or hoodies, that's gonna sell for more money. Anything with FR fabric, which is flame resistant fabric, is going to sell for a little bit more and a little bit faster. That goes not only for Ariat, but for really any brand. If you find anything FR, definitely uh, definitely look it up because flame resistant stuff is another very utilitarian kind of piece that can be in high demand. There's only one proviso here. The, the shorts category is pretty slow right now. Um, that might change in the summer when it warms up, but men's shorts for Ariat are not that high of seller. Ariat does make men's jeans and their jeans are in really, really high demand. So if you find a pair of Ariat jeans, definitely pick it up and flip it. And I know this is a menswear video and I haven't looked up the numbers for women's, but I can speak from personal experience that it sells great on the women's side as well. I really have trouble hanging on to anything Ariat. And obviously if you sell shoes and boots, it's a great brand to uh, be on the lookout for as well. The brand Duckworth is one that I have noticed on eBay, although I haven't personally found it. It's a made in USA brand based in Montana and they make kind of Carhartt type clothing and it's in really high demand. It's not that common, but it's over 200% sell through on eBay and it sells for, for good money. I don't really have any guidelines because it seems like absolutely everything Duckworth sells and it sells for over 30 bucks. If you can find their jackets, the jackets sell for over $100 used commonly but just basic shirts also sell for 30, 40 bucks. Grundens is a fishing brand. They're famous for making um, rain gear, these, these bib overall rain slickers that are worn by commercial fishermen, but there's crossover into the recreational fishing apparel genre, I guess, which is a strong and compelling genre when it comes to reselling. They make vented shirts, fishing shirts, t-shirts, they make rain gear, obviously jackets. All of it is gonna sell great. It has 211% sell through on eBay. And it's not that common, but I do run into it from time to time. If you can find their actual rain gear, those rain bibs, that's probably gonna bring you the best money because that stuff's really expensive and it lasts a long, long time. It's really well made and really coveted among not just commercial fishermen, but outdoors people in general, people that ride ATVs, recreational fishermen, and on and on. Another fishing brand to be on the lookout for is Huck, H-U-K. They make uh, clothing for recreational fishermen. They are uh, tied in pretty deep to the bass fishing scene, as well as saltwater fishing. They make UPF shirts, so shirts that have built-in um, sun protection which go for good money. They make t-shirts, they make performance t-shirts that feel almost like a performance merino wool, that really heavy stretchy fabric. Those sell great for me. They make graphic stuff, like graphic t-shirts with bass on them. Those sell really well. And they make some vented long sleeve fishing shirts. Those sell wonderfully. Anything that you can find with Huck, it's not necessarily going to go for as much as some of the other brands on this list. Average sale, uh, sale price is around 20 to 25 bucks, I think. Um, but it's, it's really reliable and consistent. And it's the kind of thing that hopefully isn't that location specific. I know that uh, living in California, a lot of these brands are not available across the country, but Huck is one of them that I think you, you probably stand a pretty good chance of running into from time to time, regardless of where you live. This brand I have found one time, it's Zimmerly of Switzerland, who make underwear and sleepwear. And despite making underwear and sleepwear, their stuff sells for great money, and the sell-through is 250% in pre-owned condition, which is pretty phenomenal. So obviously, you can't sell used underwear, at least not on eBay but they make pajamas that are very eligible to sell. And the thing that I found was a long sleeve polo shirt that I didn't realize at the time was the top to a pajama set. So anything with Zimmerly of Switzerland, as long as it's not actual 
underwear that's clearly underwear, definitely pick it up to sell it because it sells for top dollar despite being uh, underwear. This next one might be a surprise to some people. It's Affliction. Affliction does not universally have over 100% sell through. It's at 92% sell through. But most Affliction stuff, if you can get it for reasonable prices, you're not going to have a problem flipping it. Even just basic stuff like t-shirts, the t-shirts that they're famous for with all of the ostentatious graphics on them, those sell really, really well. Uh, Affliction black label stuff sells especially well and bigger sizes, so 2XL and up is going to sell really, really well. And if you can find their outerwear like denim jackets or leather jackets, it's a slam dunk. Affliction jeans also sell for really decent money and are very much in demand. The only category that I would have some trepidation about is their polo shirts, which for whatever reason just don't have that high of sell through. 511 Tactical is a very common brand that has really high sell through. It's at 106% sell through right now just as a brand. And I have not had any trouble selling anything that I've ever found from 511 Tactical. You can't make big asks typically unless you find something really special, but it's a really strong bread and butter brand for me that you find pretty commonly and just sells for decent middle of the road money. They make parkas that are really in demand. They make two lines of jackets called the five in one jacket and the three in one jacket that are kind of more of a bomber type jacket with a lot of pockets. Those sell exceptionally well and the Sabre line of jackets is also in extremely high demand. But really anything outerwear, any kind of jacket, any kind of sweater is going to sell for a little bit more money. Flame resistant stuff again comes into play here. Uh, FR 511 Tactical gear sells quite well. Their cargo pants sell really well and that's actually what I find the most. Just any, any cargo pants at all. It, men's used cargo pants as a category is really strong right now, regardless of brand, and that doesn't happen that much. Used men's cargo pants are over 100% sell through on eBay, which is just crazy. But 511 Tactical cargo pants are um, particularly good. I have just a little bit of caution when it comes to their polo shirts and their long sleeve button up shirts, which will sell, but those markets are just a little bit flooded. This next brand might actually surprise you a little bit, just like Affliction did, it's Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy is actually more popular than Affliction and it's a little bit spendier. It's sitting at 131% sell through on eBay right now. So you pretty much can't go wrong. If you find their jeans, their jeans sell really well, especially if they have the big embroidery on them. Anything with a big tiger on it is gonna sell great. Big big, loud, gaudy t-shirt designs are going to sell really well. Anything leather, anything denim in terms of the top half of the body is going to be a total win. Ed Hardy polo shirts and button-up shirts don't sell quite as strongly as the rest of the brand, but if you can get them at a good price, then they are still worth selling. Grunt Style makes graphic t-shirts with a military orientation. They have obscene slogans on them and big cartoon graphics. Uh, the bigger sizes sell a little bit better than the smaller sizes, but um, to my memory, small men's small actually sells decently. Men's medium, for some reason, takes a plunge, and then large XL, 2XL, and up sell great. So I guess men's medium t-shirts you should be careful of, but if you can find them for cheap, they're worth flipping. There's really high demand. There's some designs that are less common than others, Presumably they're discontinued. So look up the actual shirt that you find. It shouldn't be that hard to find them. Um, don't buy them for a lot. Buy them for less than five bucks and don't expect to make that much because you're not going to sell them for more than 20, 25, but good bread and butter item. This one I've had great personal luck with. Anytime that I've found it, I've been able to sell it for good money and sell it quickly. It's Psycho Bunny. They're kind of like a Robert Graham type of vibe. They make a lot of polo shirts um, that sell really well. The logo is pretty hard to mistake. T-shirts sell really well. Polo shirts sell really well. Button-up shirts sell quite well. Shorts sell really well. And 
jeans, which I've never personally found sell really, really well. The only thing actually weirdly that doesn't have super high sell through is jackets, but still, if you can find them for cheap, definitely flip them. Um, this is pretty much an unconditional buy. And this is one that I wouldn't necessarily price up crazy high, but you can get some pretty decent middle of the road returns on Psycho Bunny. A streetwear brand that I used to find a lot when I lived in LA, now not quite as much anymore, is Rip and Dip. Rip and Dip has a mascot, I guess, or a logo that is a cat giving two middle fingers. Really hard to mistake for anything else, and anything that you can find is going to sell. It's over 100% sell through on eBay. They make graphic t-shirts, they make hoodies with the cat, they make, um, I don't know if they make bottoms or not, but anything Rip and Dip is a no-brainer you'll be able to sell it if you like this video i have two other videos like it that are going over really uh, exceptionally strong brands thanks for watching and good luck